Hi everyone, it's me the Boss here again with another video. I know my upload schedule is awful, um, but I'm gonna try and make a regular thing now since I've got nothing to do because of lockdown. So, as you've seen by the title of this video, of I'm just gonna say war gaming etiquette because I mainly play Warhammer 40k, Age of Sigma, and Games Workshop games, but this can apply to other war games as well. So, um, this video would be broken up into two sections. Um, the first is about when it is okay and not okay to do something in a game, and the second one is kind of about um, being a sore loser. So, um, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, first off, we're going to talk about when it is okay and not okay to bring something into a game. Um, so the first big thing is... Um, a competitive list in a casual setting. Um, I never find that all good. Um, if I was versing a new player and I, you know, I've got Rebute Gilliman and used to have a knight, um, and I've got a new player who's brought his, I don't know, Tyranids, let's say. Now, this is going to be his first game ever, and I decide to play him. Now, I have two options. I can run my average um orc list which is not great but you know it's not terrible and it's, i guess now that would change because the new orcs are quite powerful probably just run space marines to be completely honest with you um and that would be okay what would not be okay is if i ran my list which i actually have never fielded because i've never been in a tournament setting it is a Gilliman Castle list, which just gives out so many re-rolls where 99% of the time my models are hitting their shots. Um, as well as having a blob of eradicators that just look at something and it dies. doesn't matter what it is, it will just look in its general direction. And if it doesn't die to the shooting, it's probably going to die to the melee. I use, usually use eradicators, don't get me wrong, but the one I plan on using was a max size squad. Now, a lot of people will be like, well, that's just you being salty. Um, no, it's just having an etiquette. Um, another big thing is narrative games. Um, with the new Crusade, it's a lot different to how it used to be. But now it is, you know, even if I have a, I don't know, uh, this is Watch Captain Anonymous, I know, but just say this is a captain who's been buffed to all hell. Um, he's the highest level, he's got tons of stuff. Yes, he's powerful. But my opponent, as a result of that, is going to gain another, like, six command points. Which kind of evens it out. And, like, okay, yes, he's a captain who has exploding sixes everywhere. And his relic is overpowered. And he's got an OP shooting gun. No, not even that. It's a combi flamer. But if he has sixes that, like, turn into three hits, he can be countered. You just look at him with some guns. Or you just hoard him. He th This captain, for example... Could not deal with hordes. You just hold them with a bunch of termagants or whatever. That's fine. Because the game system makes it even. But at the start of Crusade is where the issues come up. Um, I played a Crusade game recently, which was the first match of the Crusade. And I made a fluffy list of Raven Guard. Um, which was a chaplain, because I didn't really feel like running a captain. A chaplain, a squad of five tactical marines, a contempt of dreadnought which, you know, was my hard-hitting thing. A squad of five Vanguard veterans with lightning claws. That's fluffy. I know it's good, but it's fluffy. Now, my opponent ran the most broken units in the Tyranid Codex. Um, he essentially had six Hive Guard with almost plasma weapons that were heavy too. And a Zoan Throat just hid behind a wall that I couldn't get to because it was on the other end of the board. And he would just, didn't even have to see me to shoot me. Is that considered okay? When everyone in Crusade, when you're starting a new Crusade, everyone is trying to get their feet and level up. Um, and most missions allow you to level up. But when your opponent shoots you off the board turn two before you can even do anything, it's not going to be fun for the opponent at all. So I've heard one of my mates say, um, and I agree with the sentence, it's a gentleman's game. Um, if someone forgets their rules, and it's not too late, and when I mean not too late, I mean at least, like, just say it's the morale phase of a turn, right? After the combat phase. But you forgot about a feel-no-pain. I find that okay to take those feel-no-pains, because that would affect your morale. However, 
if it's the if the shooting phase the model side in the shooting phase and it gets the morale phase and then you're like oh shoot i had a feeling pain i'm gonna make those now that's kind of where i draw the line because that's from kind of mid-turn to end turn where the other example of combat to morale is both end turn phases but at the end of the day it's a gentleman's game it depends on your opponent um now the second part of this is that i'm gonna move on to now being the gentleman's game is sore losers now, what is a sore loser? Um, a good example would be if I ran a Hellblaster squad and it managed to shoot off, I see a squad of, I don't know, um, Custody Guard, and I shoot them off the board turn one. Because I'm like, yeah, bugger fighting that in melee. Now, that is a big chunk of a Custody army. Fair enough. But, it's similar to Grey Knights, you lose a squad of Grey Knights, it hurts a lot more than losing a squad of boys. Now, most opponents would be like, oh, shoot, okay, now I need to rethink, or shoot, I've kind of lost now, but I'm going to keep playing. But there are those opponents that you will come up against who immediately forfeit and have a sookie cry-cry. Now, um, this isn't my experience, personally. Uh, one of my mates played a game where this happened where, back in 7th edition, not a great edition, <laughs> um, he's probably going to see this as well and get what I'm talking about, um... There was an invisible Chaos Defiler. He shot it with a crack missile, I believe, yep, and immobilized it. Now, if you don't know anything about Defilers, they, they're giant scorpion centaur things. You immobilize that, it kind of can't do anything. Oh, it can shoot a Lehman Rust gun at you, or a weaker version, I think. But that's it. And the guy, his opponent's whole army was just about an invisible Defiler running around and screwing your entire army over. That Defiler got immobilized, he rage quit, he said, okay, this game's over, packed up and left. Never, I don't think he ever came back in after that. But that's not playing a gentleman's game. Now, there is people who just say, like, just say I was got really lucky. Like, just say I had a squad of, I don't know, a squad of heavy weapons guardsmen with mortars. And I shoot a player off an objective that they held and thought, you know, this is the last turn, but I just got so lucky with the rolls. You can be like, oh crap, that's lucky, and it's going to hurt. But, that's, other, your opponent is enjoying the game, and I think, just because the game is, you know, a loss for you, you should still enjoy it till the very end. Because, once again, these are toy soldiers. We shouldn't be getting into heated debates about toy soldiers. Um, there are also the players that um, I've played a fair few of them. Um, one of them, fair enough, whatever, I tabled him turn one. But I have a lot of opponents um, in one of my hobby groups um, that if the army beats them, it is broken. It needs to be removed, sort of thing. Um, that's fine if the army actually is broken. Like, when Ninth Ed Drukari came out and they kind of dominated and still do dominate. But... I played a game of Stormcast against a friend of mine, not at my local hobby store, just the guy I know. Um, and I got the new stuff. It's, it's pretty good, don't get me wrong. But this person was playing one of the most broken lists I've ever seen in a casual game. And, um, well, I kill half his army. He still wins the game. But after the game, he's complaining about how broken the army is. After he's completely tabled me and still has about half his army in points left. Once again, that's not that's just kind of being a toxic opponent, and that's a whole story for its own toxic opponents, which is sore losers, who are still sore losers even after they won. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Law Boss Talks. Um, I've got a few more episodes lined up. Um, I've actually recorded the second episode. After, I'm going to record it after this as we speak, but not upload it for a while, just get it over and done with. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you liked, didn't like about this farm, um, style of video. Why did I say, I'll try to say storm out of video. Who knows? But hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.